Hi everybody and welcome to my kitchen and I hope you're enjoying our virtual Christmas party. Uh, for those that don't know me, my name is Jose, I work on our regulatory affairs and I've been with the company for the past six years. I've also been in the social committee for that amount of time as well. Uh, so if you've ever in the past enjoyed our Christmas parties or hated our Christmas parties, I'm one of the persons responsible. Today I'm going to show you how to make a couple of drinks, uh, Christmassy drinks, uh, something to help take off the edge from this crazy year that we've all had. We've been in quarantine, uh, you know, and it's been quite tough with working from home and the lockdown and everything else. Uh, hopefully you're also getting ready to finish up uh, soon for the Christmas break. Uh, so with that said, uh, let's make some cocktails. The first cocktail that I'm going to make uh, is what I like to call an Irish white Russian. Uh, it's a very simple cocktail, it's basically equal measures of everything and it uses some Baileys, some Kahlua and some vodka. As I mentioned, it's just equal measures of everything. So I have my shot glass here, I've got my cocktail shaker, my ice and my drinks. So just put some ice into your cocktail shaker. For disclosure, I don't always use these things to throw my eyes, but I'm pretending to be fancy for you all. Oops. I think that's enough. All right. So start with anything really. Your vodka. cocktail shaker that has a cap and a strainer as well just one thing that I would tell you when you're making this or any cocktail just make sure you're holding that your lid properly you don't want an accident you don't want Kahlua Baileys all over your floor all over your ceiling been there done that another thing just before I start shaking this um, you only want to shake your alcohol for about 20 to 30 seconds no more you don't want to over dilute your drink because uh, you know you still want to have a bit of a kick so with that, we start shaking. And if you have a metal cocktail shaker like me, you can see it's gone all cloudy. This is how you know that your drink is cool enough now to pour. I like to serve this just in a regular tumbler. tumbler. And there you go, that's your Irish white brush. Actually, if you're not a big fan of vodka, uh, you can switch out the vodka uh, by Malibu and you can make what's known as an BMK, which stands for Baileys, Malibu and Clear. So we're just going to make that now. There is one additional ingredient as well, which is condensed milk here. So with that, we're going to do our one shot of Malibu. One shot of Baileys and or one shot of Kahlua and our condensed milk. The same as before, hold on your cap properly and shake until your cocktail shaker gets cloudy. This one I like to serve on a martini glass. Again, I'm trying to be fancy. If you don't have a martini glass, use any glass you have. Do set this one up there for two. And there you go, your MBK. All right, our next cocktail is a little bit different. Um, some people like to spend their Christmas at home. Some people like to spend their Christmas in the Canaries. But this year, uh, uh, uh. so if you want to bring a bit of that tropical or that sunshine into your kitchen for Christmas, um, my favorite is a white Christmas margarita. So we've got some Cointreau and we've got some tequila. So you want some ice. 
and as you can see I've given up on the tongs. Uh, so we want to do one shot of tequila. We want about half a shot of the triple sec. I also have already squeezed um, some lime juice here. I mean, you can squeeze it by hand, you can use one of these, but like I said, just have a shot. And now, for the secret ingredient, this is actually a shot of coconut milk. Um, again, you can buy coconut milk pretty much in any supermarket these days. So that's gonna go straight in here. We are ready to mix. <laughs> My cat is making funny faces on me. Anyway, um, obviously there's been a margarita. Ideally you would serve this in a margarita glass. And I also have some sugar instead of salt here in this little um, bowl plate thing. Um, I'm just gonna get like a wedge of lemon and just run it along the edge of your glass. And then just dip it into your sugar. Just like so and you will get this beautiful sugary rim on your glass. Next, we just pour. There you go. A bit of sunshine in your Christmas. That's a white Christmas margarita. Our last cocktail for today is going to be the classic. I think everybody knows it. Probably everybody knows how to make it by now. And that is an espresso martini. So again, this requires some vodka and some Kahlua. You probably tell what my favorite drinks are. Okay, additionally to the vodka, obviously we need some espresso, which I already have here. But just to keep things simple, and this is actually how I always do it myself, I just do one shot of everything. I find that that gives me a nice balance of all of the different flavors. So that's what I'm gonna do today. So you can start with your vodka. One shot. Some glue. Go in there. And lastly, our one shot of espresso. Uh, one thing that I forgot to say earlier about shaking, you actually will be able to feel the ice melting as you're shaking, so you will know when it's done just by feeling the weight of the cocktail shaker when it's time for you to stop. Now, an espresso martini normally is sh uh, served on a, in a champagne coupe, so you have it there. And I'm not sure what this does. Everybody uses it, so I'm gonna use a strainer. And just before we finish up, for a bit of garnish, if you've got some whole coffee beans, um, normally I do three. I'm gonna try and use these tweezers for that. If you wanna be extra delicate. There, one. And three. And to end the nice, that's your espresso martini. So that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed spending some time with me. I hope you learned something and it was 
my pleasure to have you in our home. Um, as we're getting ready to close up now for the holidays, I wish you the very best and I hope you get to spend it with your closest family and take some time to relax and recharge and then we can hopefully start a much better 2021. With that, I say goodbye, cheers and a Merry Christmas to you all.